this is Mary. Uh, Mary is the bad cup that I raised up since little. She first came here in 2012. She was uh, captured by a local hunters as a little baby cup. And then Mary literally uh, grew up in their house and then and finally the wildlife department rescued and then sent to here. The sun bear from our center come from all across Sabah. They were rescued in many circumstances, including people keep them as their house pets. The very first moment when I saw Mary, I noticed something was so wrong to her because her body proportion does not match. And it find out that Mary was fed with a bunch of fruits but not milk. In an infant mammal, their diet without milk is literally devastating. So Mary is uh, Six years old now. You are six years old now. You are a good girl. Yeah, six years old, but her body is like half the size of a regular six years old bear. You're my good girl. Do you hold hand? Yeah, this kind of damage. She's not a normal bear anymore. You have to take good care of her for the rest of her life. People want to keep them as pets without thinking of what will happen a year or two after that cute little baby will grow into a destructive beast. At the end, they will either kill the bears or lock this bear in small cages for the rest of their life. Hey, Susie. Hey, girl. She was rescued as an adult. So she has been in a small cage for many years. And then, uh, yeah, all of the bears that we rescue as an adult, most of them cannot climb tree. You know, they just don't have the muscle. This would be the happiest time of the day for the bears, for them to be able to touch the soil again, to be back into the nature again is actually quite rewarding. We gotta make sure that there's no new bear coming in by doing a lots of education awareness work to make sure that people don't keep bears anymore. Hi, you big guy. I want bears to live in the forest and not in captivity. This is where they belong. This is their home.